All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again here to the Star Letter Pro Series. For today, we've got our first of two semifinals to play out for you guys here on Twitch. And it's going to be Team Enzo taking on Vega Squadron, who managed to beat out... I'm trying to remember exactly who they played off against yesterday. I think it was the, the Polish team that went by the name the USSR, ironically enough. So they beat out the USSR org yesterday. Um, and now they're going to be facing off against Enzo, who I... By, again, I, I kind of just got tossed in this. I don't know... Uh, many of the preceding league player group play that went off, but uh, they look, uh, from what I from what it appeared, uh, Enso did manage to get the uh, the free seed here in the semifinals, so they haven't had to play any games just as of yet. But Vega looking very good yesterday, and these guys actually have clashed on a couple recent occasions. Uh, I believe it was like right at the end of August, I think on like the 31st, somewhere around there. Uh, these two teams did play each other in the past. Now, unfortunately, I don't know if the rosters have changed up uh, in between here and there, uh, but it was pretty favorably in the favor of uh, Vega Squadron when these last two played it out, and I think that was the best of three as well, but both of them floated around about a 16-6, 16-7 scoreline when these guys last played, so Vega, if the rosters have remained the same and all the factors are going to be the same here in this matchup, then uh, it could be very likely that we might see a repeat victory here for Vega once again as these two are going to end up clashing today, but it's going to be Fly, Art, Little, Arrow, and Zoner playing for the members of Team Enzo, and then Vega, same roster as yesterday, I do believe, Mir, Lamp, JR, Latro, and Kashander jumping into the match for today's match. And of course, we'll be starting off right here on to Dust 2. This will be our first map, and this was the pick coming out from Vega. Bands, if anybody is curious about that, we saw Train removed first by Vega, Enzo then took out Cash, Vega then removed Cobble, and finally Enzo removed Mirage. Our second map and the pick from Enzo is going to be on Overpass, and the third map, if we do need to play it out, is going to be over on Inferno. So first map, going to be nice and even here, both teams going to have, you know, a lot of fun <laughs> playing probably the most straightforward and typical map as far as Counter-Strike is concerned, and then we'll expand things from this point forward. Then we'll go over to Overpass, where definitely a lot of teams tend to struggle. And I think, again, if they're relying on the team dynamic of that, that could be a very, very good pick for the guys on Enzo. So, anyway, everybody has readied up now, and we are going to go into the match, guys. So, welcome once again to it. If you are just joining us once again, this is the Star Ladder Pro Series, and this is going to be Team Enzo versus Vega Squadron. These two teams will be facing off right now, so let's get right to it, guys. And to start right off on the bat here, we'll take a look at the strategy coming out from Vega. And it looks like it's going to be mainly over here going into the tunnels, but thankfully Enzo actually are counter striking this a little bit here in terms of trying to get the intel out for it. Uh, moving players onto a fast cat, and there's no presence at all coming out in middle. They've got a couple decoys, but they should be able to notice that. You can see that they're not actually peeking out towards it. They're looking towards lower tons, which is going to be good because the members of Vega, I think, figure out that this is a possibility. So they do smoke off Xbox there just to hold that zoner with a great shot to open things up, though. He's going to be able to take down JR. And now Arrow catching another one as these players work their way in. The take for Vega. Not going so well so far as these CTs are holding off, but they do let them get a little bit of sight control. Now Arrow is going to have to try to prevent this plan from happening, but not going to be the case. Lamp's already well in here. This nade's going to bounce in. Unfortunately, stops dead on top, though, so not really going to do all that much damage, and Lamp's actually going to be able to pop himself back up and find the kill. Now Fly holding his own position. He picks up two of these kills, and Art found the last one on the way in, so that's it. That's going to be the end of the round. Enzo just shut it down. They do allow Vega to get the plan, unfortunately, so if they do hold off here for long enough, then Vega are going to be able to get that third round by. They take this one light enough here, but still a great start from the members of Enzo, only losing one of their teammates along the way because he was playing things a little bit too close to the site itself, but beyond that flawless execution from the members of Enzo, barring that little bit of a misnomer there, where they did allow their opponents to get the plant going. So this round, looking like it's going to be very light from the members of Vega Squadron, so that would lead us into that third round by here. Vega, not really going to be expecting to do all that much coming into this round, of course, but they could do plenty more once they get those guns into their hands on round number three. And for Vega again now too, not going to go directly into that tunnel push. They're just going to spread their players out a little more, working them over here towards middle. A little bit of tunnel action in case the guys on Enzo try to get aggressive this time, but now you can see Little, he puts himself over here, pops out, is able to find the first kill. Arrow moving in for a second, and now it's just going to be Arrow cleaning things up. He moves in to find another one. Lamp does finally get a response here, and they're moving to find an additional one as well, but Art with that rifle. Oh, Lamp able to trade these kills out still, but there you have it now. Fly will be able to shut things down. Enzo up to 2 to nothing now. A little bit dirtier than I think they would were expecting that to go as they lose three out of five players. So considering what Vega had going into that one, that was actually a very, very good round for this team here. But 
Again, overall, still not getting the plan or anything, so it's not going to boost them all that much. But the big deal is the fact that they've done that very, very large amount of damage, dropping three to five players, a couple rifles, potentially even going down onto the ground and being dead now. So that forces those big rebuys there. Enzo, however, of course, because they saw how light the buy was from Vega, they do realize that this is going to be a third round buy, and they have to go for the full investment. But looking at it, it's going to be dead even here, and both teams are basically going to be at the edge of their economy. So either one that loses this one is probably going to end up going on to an eco. But there's going to be Little lining up a great shot here to start things off. He's able to find Kashander at the beginning of this round as he peeks a little bit too heavily and a little bit too directly over there towards the top of middle. So they're not really going to be able to prevent the loss of his own life as they weren't even pressuring the doors at that time. And now the push comes out towards long too. You've got somebody camping back over here by Big Blue, but they actually call that one off. They don't push into it just as of yet, so... They're not really going to uh, commit themselves to anything here, but Vega slowly creeping up Cat as well. Had they have gone for this a few moments ago, it would have been perfect just because of the fact that right now Enzo, or at that time, Enzo was positioned mainly over towards Long and they didn't have a very big presence, but now they've moved more of their players back. Little's going to get the call that this is coming in. He gets flashed though, so he has to hold back and can't actually initially contest the card angle. They're going to drop down and ooh! even look like a shot missed, to be honest. But he gets the flick on the set one, shuts down JR, and now as they roll onto the site here, Mir's gonna find another one. A heavy cost to his own life. Fly gets the trade, but the bomb comes down now as Lamp sets it up. Trying to look for the op shots here from Little, but again, having some trouble connecting it. We'll throw the nade in, and all this time Fly's coming in. He's getting team support coming out from the left. That's gonna be from Latro, but Fly's gonna be able to take down Lamp, and now Latro's down at 16 HP, so Arrow back over here, shuts him down. Enzo get the nice retake going, and they'll prevent Vega from stealing away the gun round. A lot cleaner this time from Enzo as well, so the economical losses are gonna be minimal for these guys now heading into round number four. And for Vega, unfortunately, they failed the attempt to go for the third round by, so they're going to have to transition this one right into another eco for themselves here. And we'll look at it. It's going to be Tech Nines for the most part. A couple players investing into armor behind it, but this is going to be a fairly light round. And those that do have armor can definitely afford it, so they won't be stretching their dollars out beyond what they can and cannot reach out for themselves. So that's basically going to be the status of this round. And it's going to be fairly direct, too, when we look at this. If they do commit to what they're doing now, it's going to be a four-man push outside that tunnel to get into the B site. And number eight over here, JR, just going to be watching out for any flanks so he can get that information and call it. So I imagine they'll wait a couple seconds here just because they have the smoke and that molly was in their way. So they're going to want to wait just a little bit longer here to avoid uh, running into anything else that the seats are going to throw. But they fire early, so they know it's coming. But they jump out, they find a two-for-one. Arrow did manage to catch one of them, but very quickly, Mir and Lamp traded out two additional kills. So not bad at all on the entry. They get in, and now they have two rifles as well. So this is not necessarily a really good situation for the members of Team Enzo. They've got to try to find a way to get back in here. They've got a decent amount of utility to go for the retake, but now they've got to find the positioning here coming out too. JR waiting inside, might be able to pick off some more of them. Having some trouble finding the shots, but the pop flash comes in, but no! Can't find really a single shot onto anybody. Hits Zoner once, but he only brings it down to 98. Now Zoner's going to find another one. We did see Latcher picking up a kill, but now Latcher's going to pop out. He finds another one on the Little, and he's going to close things out. So that's the eco victory coming up from Vega Squadron. They're going to pick up their first point on the board here off of the hands of a Tech 9 round. The only minimal investment in the armor coming out there. So that's a great pickup from those guys. Enzo, big mistake there on assuming that it was going to be safe. They let their players wide out in the open when Vega Squadron went for that taken through the tunnels. And then unfortunately, they were already left a man down and two rifles in the hands of Vega Squadron members at that point. It was actually... Uh, situation that was in their favor by a very big margin. So this is immediately going to break the members of Enzo as although that last round was a lot better uh, in terms of their trying to keep their players alive, that first gun round, we should say, back on round number three, uh, it was definitely not enough to really establish a precedent for an economy. So their money's still a little bit too low to warrant a force up. At least this early into the game, uh, they can still definitely afford to sit back, take one of these lighter buy rounds. And actually, because they do this, they can just afford to go into a buy on, uh, on round number six as well. So that's going to be Lamp and Art trading out some kills here at the beginning. Again, Art got aggressive as we could already see back over there on top middle as he pushed back into it. Kashandra sees this coming though, so he's aware of this. He's going to find a trade for that. And now that is going to lead Vega into the lead here once again for this round as the CT's got a little bit too over aggressive. And unfortunately, because of this, they have left the A side basically wide open here. Now, the members of Vega, if they do go back down towards long, it's basically going to be a free take as they are expecting this to be a mid to B split or something of that like. With Little watching out for a tunnel push, you've got Fly kind of being a floater between both the mid doors along with the tunnel entry point. Um, and Arrow, obviously, as you can see now, just sitting himself back over here at outside of middle watching for an exact push. But oh no! Mirror catches both of them completely off guard and is going to be able to take down two and a three. And now it's just going to be Little. He picks up an AK. Uh, but again, here he's got that armor as well. But, oof, the best positioning, unfortunately, is he basically walks into his own doom. He's going to get knocked out, and there's going to be another point on the board for Vega. No saves coming out from Enzo. Uh, thankfully, this, they were going to transition to another Byron anyway, so it's not the biggest loss necessarily in the world. But 
saving that AK could have saved them a lot of money in the long run, especially if they pick up the round. Uh, so that's essentially a gu another gun that doesn't really have to be bought in this one, so it saves them $2,700 over the course of a few rounds, and that can obviously stack up in a very big way uh, if they don't ever have to rebuy that gun. So now for Vega, once again, they will go th put themselves into the upper tunnels. Not committing themselves out just as of yet, but it does look like it's going to be fairly direct once again because this worked previously, so now they might want to try it again on the gun round to see if they're going to have better luck instead of kind of screwing around in the middle for who knows how long, but Arrow's ready, and that pop flash doesn't do anything at all. He picks up a kill, drops back down, however, he's not going to be able to come up with anything else, but now this pop flash comes back in from the CTs, and although they're having some trouble picking up these kills here, they did find at least one additional one. Arrow's running out of ammo for his M4, trying to finish off Latro. He's going to do it. That Molly's in the complete wrong position. Arrow completely out of ammo for everything. All the teammates that are coming to help him out are just dying on the way in here now, so he's trying to dance. There's JR with another kill on his owner. We do see Arrow trying to pop out, but no, it's not going to happen. Mir picked up this kill over here on to Arrow. He thankfully at least took down JR before the before he ended up going down, but what should have been actually a fairly easy closeout here from Enzo, considering the positioning they had, Vega's been able to make their way through it, and I mean, now they've got control of this one. Obviously, we do have to see Little being a little bit cautious, but it seems as though Mir has outplayed him. So long as he doesn't die crossing the barrier here, then he should be in a good spot, and yeah, Little's going to position himself out of this anyway, so you will be able to see Mir getting himself across the barrier, and he's going to be able to get this plant. He's actually spent a lot of time doing this, though, and Little's chosen to get himself a little bit closer to the site, so if he just waits for the time to get low enough and Mir is forced to plant, he can just waltz right in to get the kill on Doom. But that'll be a bit of a mind gameplay, too, because that depends on what Mir wants to do, but he's going to miss the op shot, goes for the fake plant, and the rifle swap out comes out here from Little as well. He's just going to go for the pickup on the FAMAS instead to try to play this out a little better. Rolls into the site, and he's indeed going to be able to close things out. So, where's your op, buddy? There you go. He's just going to go find that op. Repick it back up, and Enzo's Little. Is indeed going to clutch out the one versus one, and that will be these guys coming up to a fourth point now to bring in themselves up to four to two. So, they claim the lead. They hold on to it for now. Like we said before, that, that save coming off just after Vega took around was very warranted. Uh, there was no reason to force things up and potentially leave them with no money at all. Just that one save puts them back up to a full buy, and it does the job that it needs to do, essentially. Definitely a lot, as I said before, uh, and this is this has continued to be the trend here, even on these eco rounds from Vega, is that Enzo's rounds are a lot messier than they necessarily need to be, that round being no exception to it. Uh, they had the positioning, but just for some reason the aim was, was, was not connecting where it needed to be for a lot of the players on Enzo. Um, and Vega were actually able to get a lot of additional kills because of this, but they still hold the round score advantage here. Uh, it's just very delicate economy, as you can see. Between every single player on this team, they've only got $1,200 left. Um, so going into this next one, if, if Vega just come out on top once again, it's going to be another eco. Thankfully, Vega are somewhat limited under their their, their utility here. Uh, actually, only looking at three smokes right now. I'm assuming they've used some of them already, but those three smokes are the only thing they have now to go for the site take. Two mollies in play as well, so... It's not necessarily horrible, but it's not getting into that really great spot where they just have the full buy going out for themselves anyway. But they also have rifles and whatnot behind it, so in a head-to-head -head battle, both these teams, when you look at their uh, their amounts of utility coming into this, they are going to be somewhat even. Um, and that doesn't actually bode so well for Enzo, just because, as I've already mentioned before, uh, the the trade side of things is just not look the best for Enzo. They've been they've always allowed Vega to get the upper hand on in the beginning of the round at the very least. And thankfully, they've been able to trade it back. But here we go again. Fly's going to be able to take down Mirror. He takes some damage, but it's actually a lot less than I was expecting him to. Too, so that's a good start for these guys is they're gonna dispatch of a middle push and there's not gonna be anybody else coming to make up for it from the side of Vega at least not at this current point in time Tyra's getting very low so they do have to make this push soon but JR with a nice flick here he's gonna be able to take down arrow now these guys are gonna work their way into the site here spray from lamp is gonna be able to take down fly we do see lamp being brought down to 34 HP but nonetheless they get the execution with 18 seconds they're not gonna go for the plan over here art working his way back in might try to sneak through that smoke to go for the retake but he's got to try to figure out what's through there and he does fire first so it's not really gonna bode too well no Another player through here, but they don't even see him. Latro is just going to find a free kill in that situation. Takes down Art, and the final two for Menzo are called out for a save. Zoner actually catches this kill too. Wait. How does he get that kill? Really confused as to where he just died from. Okay. I guess I was looking at that camera wrong, but... Didn't really look like he got that kill. So, Zoner's actually going to be able to pick up one more kill here before the round does close out. And now the members of... The now the members of Vega again. They're going to keep things close to the time being. Jar with a nice little pop here too, so... Probably just looking at little saving, because they all think he's somewhere, like, over here on this part of the map, but that's not the case. He's way over here in CT, so he's going to be able to save that up. That's going to be the only gun they have, though, here in round number 8, and they have a lot of Vega squadron to get very, very close once more. They're going to be sitting back up over here on their third point now, and just one more away from tying things up, and obviously they, they have the economical advantage. Now they've got the full buy that they need. Everything is in the mix at this point for these guys. Smokes, mollies, HEs, whatever they want, they've got it. Um, and for Team Enzo, they don't have anything at all. So you can already see some players trying to get aggressive over here. 
Zoner specifically looking at him is going to try to contest the long push, but that's not going to be possible. JR just shuts him down as well. He's already up on those first two kills. Did technically steal this one away from Latro as he got a little bit greedy, but but the rest of these guys, they're going to try to push through middle, but there's like absolutely no presence here from Vega, and that what that of which there is a presence is trying to block off the push here from the members of the CTs. So Lamp doesn't initially contest these guys. He's just going to hold this, and now he's waiting to see uh, if these guys are going to repush. Cat sees him. There's going to be one kill. Should be another one sitting a little bit further up. I'm not sure if he realizes this or not, but Little's actually going to have the crossfire with it. He pops back out. And, ooh, that's a nice no scope from Little. Gets the position, takes him down. So they at the very least find one more kill here. And I think Little might have just be might just be saying screw it at this point. Nade's going to hit him in the face. So that's going to hold him back for a little bit. Pop flash too. So yeah, they know this is not going to be possible. Now they give up. Little's going to throw his own nade back in there to see if he can get some damage. But it actually looks like not. Nah, he's going back for the peak here to maybe find an extra kill or two. A little bit over aggressive, if I do say so myself. Fly's got a rifle now too, so you're going to be on a decent buy. But if you drop that up, I'm not actually sure if he can afford to rebuy going into the next round. He not looking good. He's only sitting on 1.6k right now, and the rest of his team is not like they're sitting on a whole big stack of cash either. Fly's got a rifle, so he might have been able to do it, but. Uh, he's going to make the smarter choice about this now as he starts to fall back. Doesn't end up peeking it. Couldn't have really found anybody anyway now. Uh, but staying this close to the site is also going to be good too, just because of the fact that I don't think Vega are expecting him to be the, in this area. He's been very smart with his saves. Uh, that's one thing I do have to say, and that's that may have explained why he was uh, playing it so close to us to seem like he was going to go for the peak. More, he just plays it that close to the site, so he can initially contest anybody that tries to exit through Cat. He gives away his presence there, so it sort of dissuades Vega from actually going over towards that avenue. Um... And then from this point forward, he can just hold that there, as they're going to be expecting him to be somewhere back over like a T-spawn and whatnot. So it's it's a nice little mind game play that he goes for, that actually has allowed him to save this up twice now. But, now it's allowed Vega Squadron to tie the game back up too, so they're going to be up to four points on both sides of this. And for Team Enzo here, they are going to need to start picking up this round and trying to grow things a little bit more, if they want to be able to hold this lead coming off of the end of the half. Because now Vega, they've tied it back up and... That's not going to be the smoke Quattro wanted to throw. Tries to throw the smoke over, I believe, to get it back over across the uh, the mid doorway, but not going to be happening exactly. These guys want to pan it out, so that's a smoke dead on the floor. Uh, for anybody in the general vicinity of mid two, that is going to give away the position. They know that they're in middle. Look at Jr. though, so sneaky right now. It's going to be his position, trying to sneak his way in. Going to miss that shot, so that basically kills it. Unfortunately, he's going to fall back now. And Rieger with the team, they're going to go for a mid to B split. But Arrow picking up one and two kills does half the damage on another player. Brings Mirror down to 50 HP. Now he's going to fall back, get himself into the site. Little O is still holding from the back corner of it. Now he's going to move in. Thankfully, Mirror finding this headshot to take him down. But now he needs that support coming in from Jr. 40 seconds, plenty of time to get this bomb down. But they do have a three on two retake situation being brought up here. Not going to be the easiest in the world when we look at the fact that Team Enzo have no utility left for it, but they could just purely brute force their way back into here, and if they at the very least only lose one of these players and keep it into a two-on-two -two and find the kills on the rest, they can still come out on top here. Trying to bait out the op shot from JR, but nope, he's going to pick that up on his owner. Now the tunnel push is dead. JR looks for another one. The Malio is going to force JR back out, but that's no trouble for him. He picks up another kill over here. Art finds one of his teammates, but now he's just going to sit back and relax, but no, Art is going to be able to shut him down, and he's got the kit to shut things down here on the bomb. So this fuses it, and that's going to be the fifth point coming out now for the CTs. They're going to keep their lead rolling, and a huge clutch from Art there, finding that headshot onto the Opper. Looked like we were going to see JR do it, but it's not going to happen. And now Enzo get themselves right back into the game. Again, though, a bit of a heavy cost to them, surviving with only one player left alive, and they still are allowing the members of Vega to get this plan on almost every single CT side of the round, so they're still getting that $800 bonus. And, of course, with all the money that Vega still had going here, they have a, more than enough to donate out the AKs for those that could not afford them, and JR still has his op in play. Decent amount of utility sitting not only on him, but the rest of the team as well. So Vega still very much in a good spot of trying to contest this lead from Enzo, trying to force them down before they get a chance to grow it once again. So trying to look at where Vega is going to be pushing it this time. Haven't committed themselves to anything just as of yet. Obviously they got JR to sort of investigate things on Cat a little bit. But yeah, that's going to be a pretty predictable thing. He had his, he had his elbow peeking out there in the first peak, so Little was able to catch that, and then you just had to wait for the actual peak, and he could find that. Not going to catch him off guard too much, as that's going to be a pretty easy one to time out, so a little bit of a mistake made by JR. Now, that, that op is basically dead here, too, unless they go for a cat push, but meanwhile, the push coming out of the tunnels here now, as you had those three players lined up to move in from there. Arrow's only going to be able to hold off one of them, so they worked their way in, and they actually even out the score, but the good news is, too, is that Arrow uh, has done a lot of damage on the way into the site. You can see Mir's lost about 20 of his HP, and Lamp, 98, so he's one shot up at this point. He's not even in the general area of contention. He's actually sitting outside to try and catch these guys off guard, but we can see Zoner. He's just got the P90, and he's going to be able to just jump in and catch some more of these guys. That's going to be Art falling. Art 
Hart coming, coming in and shutting down the final two just on his lonesome there too. So again, he comes out in a big way. And there you have it. The Diffuse is going to come out from Enzo once again. And they will be able to maintain that lead. This time too, surviving with three players. That's been their biggest issue so far is actually keeping more than like one or two players alive at the end of these rounds. And they got three, so it's not necessarily horrible. Three on the CT side isn't necessarily going to do too much to grow your economy, but it doesn't do anything to worsen it either. Uh, so these guys are still going to be in a good spot. And now the even better news is that they have sort of broken Vega. They're still going to have a tech not ever buy, which is an extremely competent one, especially with the utility they have going behind this, so they can't necessarily call this one a safe round just as of yet, as we could see those Tech Knights coming into play in a very big way if these guys get over-aggressive, like you have Zoner doing right now, but if he spots us and he gets the spray, then he could be big, and now he sits behind Big Blue. They haven't even noticed him, but that spray tracing, not very good at all, so Hart's going to find one, but two more are going to be traded back out here by the members of Vega. Now they've got control of Long. All they've got to do is push it and shut down Little on the way, and they've got control of the site, but keep in mind that flank is slowly coming back in over here too. Arrow and Fly both wrapping their way around in case they call this off, and they've also got it moving back in. Little trying to time that, not so good, and he's only got a USP to contest it up close, so he's going to go down. Arrow did fall back from middle. The Molly's going to go onto the floor. It doesn't bloom over to the Bomb Planter, though, so they're still going to be able to get that down. Won't be moving him away, and now trying to work this two on four, especially with two players on Vega being upgraded to rifles. That's not going to be the best, and JR just shuts both of them down here. That's going to be the end of this round. Vega, again, Again, right back into this, up to five points, one more behind the members of Enzo. And we're getting closer and closer to the end of the half now. For Enzo, they cannot afford to go for the buy once again, and they're going to have to go for a save, which will probably tie us up at six points. As unfortunately, the track record here for Enzo on these Ecos has not been the best, and this is going to be a very, very minimally invest round with at most a deagle sitting on arrow and that's probably the biggest buy they have going into this one little I guess you could call that one a little bigger if you're an armor aficionado as he's gone for the PT-50 with armor but still in the grand scheme of things it's nothing to stand against what uh, what Vega having brought in this one so any trades they could get here on the side of Enzo that's going to be a victory in itself and to start things off of course Vega do realize that this is going to be an eco so they just play it nice and slow to watch out for this exact sort of aggression that would come back out over here from the from the long doors uh, they're not going to spot anything just as of yet, as now Enzo do realize that they're watching out for them. So, it's basically just going to be a staring contest here for the next, like, 15 seconds or so until Vega sort of get low enough on the timer to where, yeah, we got to make the push. Nobody else is going to poke out, so they slowly creep their way in. Mir not actually going to be able to spot Fly just as of yet, but he may catch Arrow as he peeks out. Just saw him there as he went for his initial peek. But now Fly's going to roll. He does dink him down to 12 HP, but... It's not going to be enough as is needed now. Latro looking to find his way out. He's going to find one over here. Gets that headshot on the art. Finds a second over here on the little to take him down. And now they've got control of the A site. So, unfortunately, a very, very uh, anticlimactic ground for the this event. So, and again, all those attempts to get aggressive just don't really pan out. They get very close to finding those kills, but it's not enough. Uh, Mirrors brought down to 12 HP. Latro down pretty low at around 30 or so. But, uh, as I said already, not at the end of the day, it's just not enough. So, they're not really going to be able to do too much about that. And... Now they'll be able to tie things up, and Team Enzo, of course, go for their next buy here, but uh, still now, this is this is begging the question as to whether Vega are going to be able to take the lead, because despite the fact that the rounds have sort of been tossed back and forth, Vega are still sitting on a very large stack of cash now at this point as well, just off of a couple rounds of victory, so these guys are looking very good. Great push from Little to start things off. He's going to move in and shut down Kashander, but the push, although it's popularly on these gun rounds, gone over towards the B-tunnels previously from Vega, is not actually going to be happening this time, and this is good info, because now uh, Enzo can sort of adjust their expectations. They can maybe move a player off of the site and get ready for a cat push, which is exactly what is going to be happening now from Vega. They get ready to move in. There is going to be a mistake pop flash, so they do have to hold themselves back for a couple seconds, but as it starts to roll back in here, too, no actual combat's going to be happening. The smokes and whatnot, everybody's still hiding back a little bit too much, but now there's JR finding the first one. Mir just gets the one top there with the AK, moves in, finds a headshot on the art to shut him down. They've got control of the site now. Going to try to fake the plan to bail out anybody else that may still be hiding. You've got one player moving in for Pit, but he's trapped there now that he's given himself away, so JR just waiting for him, but actually, he's going to pop out and find the opera. He takes JR down there just with a couple of shots from the FAMAS. That's a good shutdown from him. That's going to reopen the floodgates here for these guys to work their way back in. Arrow finding another one here too. You still have to worry about that rotation from Latro because he's still well on his way. Getting up to Cat now, but Lamp sitting behind this box. He's going to be able to pop back up. Finding one kill over here onto Arrow. Zoner finding the trade for this one. They almost shut down Latro, but what's great now is they've got this Molly down. So... This is going to waste too much time. There's no way they're going to be able to do this now. They're going to find this kill, but oh, it's going to be so close. They've got the five-second defuse, but I do not think they have enough time to do it. 
Oh, just missing it. And indeed, Vega will be winning it out there off of the hands of that Molly. So that's going to be Vega. They pick it back up, up to seven points now. They have the lead here too. And as I said before, plenty of money sitting behind it. The opposite case is for Enzo. They've only really got this one and four and going into this round off of the hands of Zoner. Everybody else is going to have to sit back and go for a full save this time. So uh, just like we've seen many, many times before, Vega probably having an easy eight point on their hands. And that will get them lead coming out of the first half here to grow up things. But it's not too, uh, it's not necessarily too far out there. Granted, I personally have not had the opportunity to watch uh, anything from Enzo just as of yet here, uh, but from what we saw from Vega yesterday, um, and obviously with a lot of the teams that we watched yesterday with this sort of caliber playing here, it wouldn't be too far out to say that necessarily speaking that the T sides are going to be the better half, so this could technically actually be a fairly bad one, and hold on now, we do have a little bit of action happening. Fly gets up two kills there, traded out for three more, but Zoner comes in to find another one too, and now Enzo's players are going to be able to upgrade to full rifles for everybody else, but a little bit over aggressive there from Zoner, he's going to pop back out. Art finding the trade though and the bomb is controlled at this point by the CT so Enzo's last player, Art, may be able to clutch this out once again. He's already done this twice now, finishing off these one versus ones for himself and the rest of the team and he might just do it once again. Pops out, finds that headshot of the lamp and there we have it. Enzo strike right back so maybe I was wrong. Maybe Vega won't have the lead coming out of this first half here as they're going to tie it back up at 7-7. Seven seven. They'll go for the buy once again. So will Vega of course because they've had the money to do so. They should be able to drop an AK for Latro there. A couple players still sitting at around 3k so there should be plenty of enough cash left in the reserves here to get him a gun and they indeed will throw one his way. So everybody's got the rifles here on both teams. Utility's just a little bit limited on the CTs but it's it's, you know, it's, it's a very minuscule thing. It should not live in any uh, very big way here, looking at it in the grand scheme of things. It's more than likely a player or two will end up dying before they can even use most of their nades, so... It's not like they're going to get a big chance to use it, but Vega actually doing something that, to be completely honest, they have not done a lot of so far in this half, which is playing it slowly and playing the stack in middle, working it from there. Not going to commit to Cat just as of yet, but that does seem to be the main game plan from these guys, working their way in, slowly getting ready to make that push, and so, from the down spot, actually putting nobody onto the site like in Goose and wanted to hold that off, they are expecting this to come from Long just because of how indirect a lot of these pushes have been. Yes, they've used Cat, but they've also used Long and Middle to get control of the A site, so it'll be very unorthodox to see just a 5 man flush coming out from the cat area and right now of course they're being held back a little bit here by some CT nades but there's JR finding the entry now for himself and the rest of his team that's going to take down little the other defender is going to fall back and again you can just see it look they're like where's the long push the long push is not coming out right now so these guys actually make a big mistake in calculating that's going to come from there and they basically hand over full site control to Vega with nobody taking damage and it's not like they can see either they've got to go for this retake but it's going to be so futile now uh, I highly doubt this is going to be possible for the members and teammates to pull this one off. It'll be very, very clutch indeed just because of how strong of a position now that Vega holds. There's Zoner finding one. Lamp and Mirror trade out two more, but it's been evenly traded out, so it's down to a two on two. Now Lamp takes the advantage for his team. It's all on art at this point. Only one shot on Lamp, so he comes in, takes him down, has to finish off the final one, but he can't do it. Shander sits in the default spot, and there we have it. Vega Squadron, they're going to end up coming out on top here on the first half. Eight to seven, but how close was this half? Just look at it. The rounds have been bouncing back and forth and back and forth. You weren't having any of these sprees where one team was dominating or vice versa. These rounds were back to back to back all the time. Enzo, of course, honestly, their biggest struggle was just keep trying to make those rounds clean. There was a lot of situations where they could have survived it with three or three plus players alive, but they just ended up making some making some fairly simple mistakes and ended up dropping more players than necessary. So for a lot of this half, Vega had a very weak economy and Enzo always able to get their buys going for the most part because of how heavily those rounds were being traded. So they almost never had to worry about Ecos with them constantly picking up winning bonuses there. And obviously their losing bonus was reset quite a bit, but anyway, we're getting into the pistol round here, so let's get into the action. One for one trade. Art picks up an additional kill, so the T's hold the advantage. They pick up a third as well. Fly gonna find this rag over here on the Latro, and they've got one of them pretty low, but Mir's not gonna be able to catch it here, at least as he pops through the mid doors. Now Art, though, gets over aggressive. He's gonna pick this back up, but the Ray take both coming back in from Cat at this point. Little's gonna drop back down. He doesn't want to directly contest it from sitting up there on the wall. And now we see Enzo's members getting themselves into their post plants. One of them pops way out though that's gonna be Zoner once again that falls to Mir so now we're back to an even term here two on two little gets the off angle shot there's lamp jumps him on top of the wall he's gonna take him down and now Mir the final one he's dropped down below so Fly can just finish him back off and there you have it Enzo close things out they'll immediately be tying things up and they can probably take the lead off of this round as well assuming we don't see any problems from Vega on their uh, on their force up here if they do decide to go for this and we'll see in just a second but let's take a look So it looks like they're not really going to go for the force this time around. And obviously for Menzo, they just work their way out on the B here pretty simply. And 
<laughs> Unfortunate to say, but for the most part, this round's pretty much over already. Uh, with how swiftly Enzo just got control of the V-Sec there, there's not a lot they can do to contest it. They're on default pistols, they got one flash. Uh, if everybody came and found a headshot, yeah, it'd be possible, but... You can just see they're about to work their way into the site to try and get as much damage as possible. No kit either for the for any of the teams. They're very low on time here. So there's Arrow finding one. He's just going to play Ring Around the Rosie with these guys too. So he finds an additional kill. Because Shander did pick up at least one more, but that's all he's going to find. So obviously with Vega having the minimal investment, just sort of committing suicide at the end by rolling everybody into the B site, uh, is not going to be the worst idea in the world because they can at least find one more kill and force the rebuy. But <laughs> this is actually going to be a little bit of a two-sided coin because now Little uh, losing himself and still having plenty of extra cash left in the bank is going to be like, well, I guess I can go for an op. Just in case Vega were going to try to force things up on their own third round. That's a very uncommon thing for the CTs to do, but it's not completely out of the ballpark to see something like that happen. So, now we'll see them, of course, going for a little bit heavier of an investment this time around than they did previously. Uh, they do buy up a couple CZs and whatnot here and there, in a 5-7 or 2, but so we're not going to be expecting all that much resistance. Maybe a couple more trades happening, but for the most part, Enzo will still have a very, very large advantage coming into this one. Lamp, very low, so he's going to be finished off now by Zoner. And just to, that just brings it down to two CDs left alive. Both sitting outside of the mid doors right now. Uh, they are going to hear this action from Tunnel, so they can predict this and try to counter out these guys. Just going to walk up right behind them, but uh, Enzo are being a little bit too fast with the take. Once again, they're not creeping their way in. They're just rushing into the site, so uh, it's a good attempt to find this flank from Vega. They may be able to pick up one or two of these players, but I don't really expect that with the range they're going to be dealing with not to be able to do too much. They won't be able to scavenge any extra guns, and with those CZs in play and whatnot, going to be a little bit rough. Nade comes in. There's the touchdown from Little. He's going to be able to take down JR, and then Arrow just surrounds him there. So there's two more kills for Arrow. He's going to stack up a decent amount of cash on that MAC-10. Uh, and you can already see that. It's sitting at 9.7k. Honestly, he may just keep this, too. Nope, he's actually going to get rid of it. So he's going to go for the upgrade over to the, uh, the AK-47 there. And Zoner will stick with the P90. Uh, we've seen this happening more and more on both CT and T sides. The T side's a little bit more, uh, just because if it's going to be a full five-man strat, you can actually use the P90 to act as an arrowhead for you and the rest of your team. The entry fragger just used this to come in. He's going to be playing up close and personal anyway for the most part. So if he can get short-range duels on to find those early kills, then that's going to be great because you unlikely expect him to die anyway. So so if he has less of an investment, it's not going to be the worst idea in the world. Now, though, Enzo making a lot of noise, but it's not going to hold back Mirrors. He finds his first opening kill in his zoner. Spots the Xbox push as well, so they know they're going up on a cat. They know they're going to be positioned here, and the members of Vega trying to position against this. Still very wary of a mid push, along with a long push, too. So right now, they're going to be relying in a very big way on their opera JR to hold it. But thankfully, he's been very, very good with this gun, especially on the CD side, looking at his performance from yesterday. And we would not be surprised to see him just shutting down this push single-handedly as it does come back out. But Arrow will be opening up another angle back over here by Long as well. So it's not going to be completely straightforward. And what's unfortunate though is Mir has missed this. So it's all relying on the intuition now coming up from JR. He's moved himself a little bit further up the ramp to get himself onto the site. And this pop flash is going to hold these guys back for a little bit longer. Their attention drawn over here. But now they start to fall back. Mir though, he's up against the wall. Little has not seen him just as of yet. Going to get some damage and he finishes him off. Fly will find the trade. But the important thing is now they've dropped another player. And Vegas still have that man up. 35 seconds left. They have box them in to some degree over here too so arrow actually a great bait with that smoke too makes it think like he's gonna just gonna rush his way out but he's actually just sitting there waiting for arrow or he's actually just sitting there waiting for one of the players on the ct side and that is gonna be arrow to find the kill now they work their way in on cat just because of the necessity of time jr finds one art getting a trade but jr again shuts down the actual push itself arrow is gonna be the last one alive trying to work his way back and he does miss the shot but 10 seconds left just can sit back and relax now essentially because he's got to wait for his teammate to roll back in here too he is gonna find it out in that, oh, the open shot here but now arrow is just gonna move in and try to find that kill two seconds left lamp knows it's over so he falls back does not want to take that and now the time has expired. He will look for the trade, won't be able to find it, and we will see that op surviving at the end of the round, but what's important is that Vega picked things up, and now they're going to be able to keep things close here, bringing things up to 9 to 10 at this point in time. And for Vega, of course, they will go directly into another buy off of this one, uh, despite uh, uh, despite the fact that uh, despite the fact that they do very well, again, uh, some of the same, one of the same issues that we saw back in Menzo there previously too is that, again, they just weren't keeping a lot of their players alive, so that's actually still, still going to be a very light buy, and there's still a pretty good chance for Enzo to upset this one. Kill's already happening, it's a two for one to start things off, Vega losing two of their players, and Mirror's dropped on a 15 HP, uh, with no additional utility sync behind him, so he's going to have to perform in a big way. There we go, catches one kill, and that immediately causes the 180 for Mark, he's going to have to fall back once again into the tunnels. Arrow finds an entry through middle though, so they're going to push their way in, but look at Latro, they haven't even noticed him, he's going to pick up one kill over here through the mid doors, but thankfully Art and Fly are able to 
manage that. That lateral play, though, again, should not have happened. They walked literally right past him. Nobody saw him. Had that good trigger resistance just to watch out in case anybody else was going to regroup here at this point, but doesn't end up happening. He picks up one kill, but I think he actually waited a little bit too long to go for that frag, as that did enable enough reaction time there for one of the final members on Enzo to just turn right back around and find him out in the open. So they shut him down. Uh, Vega are right back to square one in terms of their money. Uh, they have nothing, so it's all default pistols, all USPs coming into this one, and you can expect Enzo to just waltz right over this one. There's one, there's two, they got sight control. Round's pretty much over. <laughs> We've got Little out in the open here too, so that could get a little dodgy if uh, they dropped him, but it seems to be handling himself quite well. And now JR, he wants that op. You know he wants it, so he's gonna go looking for this frag here, and there's no reason he shouldn't. Ooh, actually does shut him down. Finds a nice headshot with the USP, but arrow's there for the trade, and he's close enough to recover the op, so they'll, they'll save that. We'll keep that in their arsenal, and we'll see Enzo once again coming out on top with another round. V pretty much the easiest round you could have expected to have, though, so that's not too surprising. But this is getting a little bit dangerous now for the members of Vega, uh, because they're letting them they're letting them get pretty far ahead. Only four away from closing it out, and Vega have to go for a save again. So this is going to leave them at contesting contesting the contesting the victory outright from Enzo at round number 13. Uh, they will probably, with the way they're playing their economy right now, I expect them to do a force on round number 14, uh, just out of the pure necessity of it. So, they're going to really get two chances to try and stop this, and if they don't stop it on round number 13, uh, as it would be for, for Enzo, then the big problem is just going to become that on that 14th attempt to stop it, they're not really going to have a very big buy going into it. Okay, then that would more than likely play out for these guys, so they've got to absolutely try to stop it on this next one. And right now here in this round, Arch just cleaning up shop here. Three kills before finally Mir takes him down, and then Little picks up two headshots in a row there with his Glock. Takes up with Mir and Kishan to shut down the round, and there we have it. Now they're up to 13 points. This is going to be the big buy from Vega this time. You can see the op going on to JR. It's got a little bit of utility sitting behind it as well as he's got that smoke. Two ops, actually, which I was not expecting. Didn't really see them play that out too much yesterday in their own match, but... They're going to put Lamp in it with an op into his hands here as well. And this is actually going to limit them just a little bit. Thankfully, everybody that does buy up rifles is going to have everything they could have wanted and desired here in terms of utility. But still, that's a big risk being taken, uh, especially considering that we haven't even seen Lamp pick up an op this entire game as of yet. He's a little bit untested with it against this team. So it could, it could definitely be a nice little surprise factor, but overall... I, it might end up being too risky for what it's worth, but if it, I mean, if it pays off, though, I mean, there are teams that can just absolutely destroy and control the entirety of the map with a double op setup. Then it's going to be really impactful, but it's it's all it's all it's all a big if at this point in time. And considering they haven't actually tried it as of yet, this is going to be a trial by fire for this sort of strategy here to see if this ends up working out. So Enzo actually taking things nice and slow to start things. That nade's going to bounce. It's an okay amount of damage to Latro, but definitely a little bit less than I think they were expecting it to. Arrow looking to find his way up. He almost finds Latro down to 11 HP. He's going to fall back, thankfully, and he doesn't actually realize he gets those hits connecting. So uh, the members of Vague are going to move back, but that opening, that op those opening hits over here on the Latro are not the worst situation in the world. The Molly should keep the Shander here, too, and they're lighting him up, so there's going to be Arrow. He finds the kill going over onto the CT. Now we see Mirror trying to find a trade, getting into a position at the mid doors, but he's going to lose his own life. Arf finds this kill. Now you've got three players left alive. Two of them are armed up with the ops, but they're going to be playing close encounters. And Latro here, he's going to move out just as that smoke is fading. Finds the kill on Arrow pops out, finds his second one on the art, but now he's going to fall back because he's getting a little bit too greedy. So Fly's going to find this kill. Zoner finding the additional trade. JR is still up, and we've already seen some great plays from him. Picks up one with his op. Going to look for a second back over here, but he is surrounded. Doesn't move. Moves out against that smoke, though. With eight seconds, we'll see the plan. He's going to try to catch Little before he can get himself into a safe spot. Does exactly this, and now up close. Can he find this shot over here? Going to miss the first attempt at it, but Fly sitting back. He's being too patient with this. He needs to get more aggressive against this op. Bring it up in his face. That flash was perfect. He's completely blind, but there's no follow up. JR has an open shot, and he's going to get. And he's going to shut down Fly, and that's going to be the clutch from Vegas JR. Going to close things out. He's got the full 10 second defuse, but plenty of time to play this one out. Absolutely amazing play from him. And now Enzo, again, are not going to be in the safety zone just as of yet. That could have been the game right there, too, as we talked about. Vega would have had to force on round number 14, but they wanted to play it out for the win. They would have had nobody to do so, but that player, that last player from Enzo, he had a perfect pot flash, but he just does nothing to try and force it forward, as I think he was unsure as to whether it actually connected or not. So, there you have it. Vega keep themselves alive in this game for the time being. There's still three rounds behind Enzo, and again, the economy is still very, very delicate at this point in time, but at the very least, surviving with that one player keeps them alive, gives them another opportunity, and now JR is going to try to get aggressive a little bit here. Coming out towards middle, he doesn't see anything there, but 
at the same time, no pressure being applied towards Long, so this does allow the members of Team Enzo to work their way out towards Long and start the take on of the A site from here. But it's very predictable, obviously. Latro can hear all of this. See, here's at least three to four players working their way in. There's nothing saying that Team Enzo can just fall right back and shift this into a mid to B push or something like that, but now with these nades, there's no way in hell that's happening. That would be actually a pretty pretty heavy mind game strat. They're working up. They want to get control of this site. Mir gets boosted up, but that's going to get completely denied by Zoner. JR finds a trade for it, but Fly again trades the trade. Takes down JR, and the T side does maintain the advantage for the time being here. Arrow going to find himself out in the open. We do see Lamp coming in there, trying to kill the player from Cat. Arrow's going to save that player inside of Pit, but there we have it. The rest of the kills definitely go by the way of Enzo. A little bit rough on the retake there from Vega, as I don't think they actually thought it was going to be fully committed that quickly. Those smokes just come in. The members of Vega can't see anything, and now this is going to be the bells tolling for Vega Squadron at this point. They made it through that previous round, but as I said before, it doesn't really do them any favors because they only survived with one player left alive. And even at the beginning of this one, too, a great shot from Little is going to bring Lamp down to 51 HP. It hits him through the door. Latro, I think it's hit by it as well. So he digs two players at the beginning of this round. And there's going to be a Molly connecting over there and a Lamp as well. Brings him down to 41. Arrow. You see it? Yep, thankfully he does. 4x3, not going to be the name of the game here today. Arrow's going to be able to take down JR. So you've already got basically two kills having happened at this point. When you look at the health pools of both uh, Lamp and Latro, and considering they're on pistols, you're not, they're not really going to be able to do all that much here. There's Zoner shutting down another one. Oh my god, Zoner. Finding an additional one here too. He takes down Latro, and another one takes down Lamp. Now it's just Kashander. Thankfully, he's the one with the rifle, but he's in a one on five now, so nothing he can do to stop this one. That will be the kill from Fly, and now Enzo will be sitting on match point. Even plenty of cash to do this as well. So now if we do see Vegas Squadron coming out on top, they're going to force it up here. But even this is not really all that much. Uh, Deagle armor on Mir, Deagle armor on JR, 5-7 armor on Delatro, and then Kashander on a CZ armor. Lamp is able to get a scout, but no armor and only a flash. And again, there's going to be a dink to start it off. Art does get hit as well here as they get aggressive through the mid doors. Uh, they get some damage going on to him, but the flashes and these nades come back in. There's going to be fly finish going up. Mir does get, not necessarily the Quan D, but he does get the... The Deagle headshot over here on the fly. Looking for another one, but Art sprays it down this time. So it's been traded back. They have a one-man advantage. Now they're going to work their way up on a cat. Just around the corner, though. Latro trying to get test. Dinks one of them down to four HP, but not going to be enough to finish it. Lamp, however, having a little bit better luck. He's going to be able to finish off Little here, trying to hold things off. Kishander finding two. So this one might not be over just as yet. It's going to come down to a one versus one. Kishander, the last one over here, sitting onto the A site. And now the question will be begged as to whether we'll see him go for the frag. And he is, but that spray! No! Arrow, what happened, man? Kashander is going to be able to clutch it out for his team. Nicely played by him. Good positioning overall there, but a big mess up there by Enzo's last player. Arrow should have had an easy kill with that positioning, but very, very messy on the sprite. And we will be able to see Vega's last player, Kashander, clutch that one back out. This re-enables a bigger buy to come out from the members of Vega. But... Also, a whole lot of cash to work through on the side of Enzo, so they've got a long way to go before they're really back into this one. And they've broken the economy and have a chance to tie things up to take it into overtime here on map number one. So Enzo actually are slowing it down in a big way looking at this round, uh, comparing it to the previous two to three. These guys are definitely going to be taking their time now because of the fact that, again, they don't actually, they don't, they're not really going to have a good idea as to what exactly Vega will be rolling with here, so strategy-wise as well, they're probably drawing a, drawing a little bit of a blank in terms of what they're expecting to come out from the CTs this time, so uh, Arrow, thankfully, finding the first kill here. This has been another problem for Vega, too, is they've been a little bit over-aggressive where they haven't necessarily had to have been, uh, so now they're picking up a couple kills because Team Enzo have caught on to this, but Latro, again, a big player over there, picks up two kills over on the fly and Art back-to-back. -back. I'm pretty sure they line up for him. I'm director, unfortunately, didn't give us the best view of it, but they picked them up. Arrow finding another one at the lamp this time as well. So now they've just got to find these final two. The bomb is down, so Zoner's got to be a little bit careful, but he gets this off-angle kill. It takes down Latro. Now you've just got one left. It's going to be Kashander once again, but he's got two HP. And he's not working with a one-on-one -on -one anymore. He's only got a one-on-two, and an off-angle shot could have been happening there. They do need to move that bomb into the site, so it's just going to be flashes like crazy. And there you have it. Little finds the op shot on a Kashander. That's going to shut him down, and that is going to end map number one, guys. Enzo take it 16 to 11. One more, and they'll be going home with the victory and moving on, being the first team to enter into the finals, but Vega's We'll have a chance to strike back going on to the second map. That's going to be on Overpass, guys. Be sure to stick around for that, as we'll be coming to you with it in just a few minutes here at the Starletter Pro Series 14, right here on.